All right, you guys, here we have next episode of the Guardian Gauntlet. So last game kind of ended, you know, uh, spoilers if you haven't seen it, but I got destroyed and then Rexy F6 right before killing my Titan. Earlier on in the series, I said I would count that as a W if someone did that, just because Guardians is so bad. But it's like, I didn't think that would actually happen. And it does seem kind of unfair to count as a, as a W. And what a lot of people in the comments pointed out is, it shouldn't count as a win, but it also shouldn't count as a loss. So we can just redo it. So basically last game, you know, counts in between since since the, the F6, I guess, because a lot of people seemed in between. 67% of people said it should count as a win. 33% of people said it shouldn't, but the people that said it shouldn't count as a win, like they had a good reason for it. Like they're like, I want to see some more Bacchus. You know, you got destroyed. It wasn't that fun to watch. And... Oh, shoot, it's Tears. <laughs> my arch nemesis. Not actually my arch nemesis. Tears is an awesome guy. I haven't beaten his tier once. His tier, he builds upgraded Phantom. He's Grandmasters. He builds Relic Dagger. He builds Talaria Boots. No defense early game. But I still lose to him. Alright, here's what we're going to do. We're going to start defense. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot, man. Okay. Okay, uh, I always go beads against him, but that never even helps me. I think I'm gonna go bracer. I fought. Here's the thing: I have experience against Tirza because I fought him so many times, but that doesn't mean we'll win. Hmm. Maybe we should max our three. Have My three makes me immune to knockbacks for the duration, but isn't tears three or tears one a knock up? Uh, I guess we'll find out. You know, let's just find out at the start of the game because I don't want to screw it up. Yeah, oh, he's going ranged his mask. He told Tirza was in my stream. He told me he had a new start for me. So I'm a little bit scared of what it is. He said he had a new start that is like 10 times better than his old start. Tier 2 ring does. Let's go. Tirza is a really. Like. He, he reminds me of kind of myself in terms of playing a god or in a way that you never expected, like taking Guardians to Duel. He took Tyr to Duel and builds him completely differently and wins. He beats he beats the top level players, you know? I'm already out of mana. A lot of people suggested I should go a, a better mana start, but I know that Bacchus, Bacchus just gets poked out if he does. Oh, I'm getting some lag. Uh, 140 ping? Okay. Uh, all right. Okay, I don't know if that was knock-up immune or what, but he didn't hit me there. I have quite the ping right now, though. You get some stacks on our Warriors Blessings. Yeah, but pretty much... We'll give it my all. If we lose this, we get another attempt at Bacchus. I'm hoping to fight, like, an assassin as Bacchus. Look at that damage. And I have Warrior's Blessing plus Breastplate. Usually that combo will kill me if I go any other start against him. At least I have Anti-Heal in my kit too, which is kind of nice. I just gave him the mini. Didn't mean to do that. Might be able to kill him with my ult. Alt 3. No, he got his ult. Let's play his anti-heal once he tries to heal. My 3 has 50% anti-heal, I believe. Oh, never mind. I'm an idiot. Nope. My ult didn't even go off. It wouldn't have killed him either way, but it would have cleared the wave. Uh, why did it not cross? <laughs> why did I forget about his blink? I'm an idiot. I was so tunnel visioned on just keeping him from healing that, uh, you know, the blink didn't cross my mind oh Bacchus 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 just had to fight Tirza he's Grandmaster by the way and I'm in Diamond which you know those matchups happen but I fight this guy all the time <laughs> give me a break man yep tier 2 hang this into so I was, the, the guy's build is really weird but it works I guarantee so many people in the comments are going to call me bad because I can't beat this guy's build. But they have not seen Tears of Play. People from my stream have seen Tears of Play and know that he, he is pretty much unbeatable. I might have beaten him once. 
I also have a hard time fighting him because as Ymir, Tyr's passive counters Ymir and most Guardians. So it's like, it's even worse. Look at those speed boots. You can just get out my stuff. I do no damage to him even though he has no defense. Oh, this is rough, man. I really didn't want to fight Tirza. <laughs> it has Bacchus. Fighting Tirza as a different Guardian? Yeah, maybe. But as as Bacchus, that's rough. Okay, let's keep going. I wonder which Guardian would be best to fight Tyr. I mean, Bacchus has anti-heal, but Bacchus sucks. With Bacchus, you usually want to start with defense and slowly transition into one shot. But against Tyr, I can't really do that. Look how fast he is. And then he just gets out, man. I, I don't want to play this game. Oh, I fought this guy way too many times. It would be cool if I played against him as an actual god now and then, <laughs> rather than Bacchus. Or Ymir, who gets countered by Tyr. If I use my 3, he can just literally walk out of it. With that movement speed. Oh, we use that for the knockup community? I don't see myself coming back, man. Tears is a Grandmaster player. <laughs> Fighting two Grandmasters in a row in the Guardian Gauntlet as Bacchus. All right. He's Blink. All right, here's what we'll do. If I don't get a kill in the next three minutes or so, I'm going to F6 because I know how this ends. And then I'll just play another Bacchus game, like, right away. To, uh, that way we can get uh, two, two videos in one episode. Because otherwise, this this is just this is a, this is a little bit of a waste of time. Not gonna lie. Right on. I'm surprised Tearsa doesn't make a YouTube and show off his tier. Because I'm sure people would love to watch how he makes this happen. Upgraded Phantom and all that. Is he number one tier? I don't know. Here's the thing though, he might not get defense for a while, and Bacchus combo might be able to one shot. I mean, Tears base protections and health are pretty good though. Like, he's so tanky. He's so fast. Did that not damage him? And he's out. Like, I, I can't chase him right now. I'm going to have to go speed boots too, and speed boots are not good on Bacchus. And he just heals way too much. Okay. Am I dead? And even if I wanted to turn on him, I can't because of that movement speed. Alright. Oh, let's not. <laughs> let's not. I'm, I'm, I'm not about this right now. I fought Tears of Way too many times though how this goes. I would rather have a Bacchus game against someone else right now. Because I know I can't beat Tirza. So let's get into the next game. I uh, apologize, but uh, it's I know, I know I'm not going to be able to come back against him. Attempt number two, and we have a matchup I could win. It is a Loki with the diamond border though. So they're, they actually know what they're doing. But I can beat Loki as Bacchus. I, I have, I can... I've won this matchup more than half of the time. <laughs> so, I actually feel confident about this. However, I'm also going to go... Um, check up boots first. Yeah, boots. Or actually, we go double chalice, baby. I don't like double chalice. 
but this might be a double chalice scenario. Also shell. I Loki is one of the gods I love fighting as guardians because he is very squishy. He is very susceptible to CC and he can't one shot me. So this is the matchup of where it's at. If we're going to win a Bacchus game, we got to win this one, okay? Whew. Oh, he's trying to proxy me. I don't think so. Buddy. He got half his health. I mean, was that really worth it for him? Probably not. I did got half his health. If I just do that again, he dies. What are you doing? This guy's playing PvE to some to some extent I have not seen. I don't even know if he if he knows I'm in this game. He is like tunnel locked on those minions. Congratulations, you got one minion wave in my tower. But I still got all the XP for it. Not the gold, but I got the XP for it. I wasted my health child so I popped it too early. I'm just gonna keep focusing him if he doesn't mind. Dang, I didn't hit him with that. That's okay, I hit the minions. I'm just gonna keep hitting you, Loki. Uh, okay. This guy has a diamond border Loki. His name is GM Slayer. I fought some bronze Lokis that did better than that. I don't know how to. I don't know. Maybe he's playing with the with like a, a microwave or something. I once saw a video on Reddit where someone hooked up. Oh, he's gonna steal this. He's gonna steal this 1,000%. Oh, I thought I almost got it. I saw someone hook up a microwave to their Overwatch account, and they played an Overwatch game with their microwave. Can I kill him again? Okay, I'm going to back right here, and hopefully he dives tower. Come on, you know you want it. You know you want it. You know you want it, Loki. Come and get me. You know you want it. You know you want it. Am I going to get another kill? Hey, thanks Loki. Thanks for the second kill, buddy. I didn't even kill him how I thought I was going to. I, it, I'm having a harder time killing these archers than I am killing Loki. Alright, let's go back. Because I am very content with that early game and I do not want to die. Okay. Now we're going to get boots. We almost have Warriors Blessing Evolved two minutes into the game. That's pretty good. How much of my autos do to him? 12 autos, 432. Alright. <laughs> I wonder if you could do that for Smite. If you could like hook up some appliance and play it and play Smite on it. A smart microwave or something. I don't have one of those, but if I did, I would do it. <laughs> if I had it, I would do it. The microwave Smite challenge. Can I kill you again? Or you can ult out. Don't ult out. Don't ult out. I said don't ult out when he ulted out. Oh, he took this already. That is fine and dandy. I'm 1,000 gold ahead of Loki. I don't know what is happening. I feel like this guy must be playing with a handicap that I am not aware of. Maybe he's a YouTuber and he's he's doing the microwave challenge or something. I don't know. All right. I feel like I'm missing something. Because I know I win this late game. When I have Polynomicon on Soul Reaver, or maybe not even Soul Reaver. I one-shot you, Loki. So you gotta keep me from getting to late game. I one-shot your Phoenix, too. Is, is, are you proxying my wave again? Buddy. No, he's not. Okay. He's just MIA. I am so happy we went up against Loki. So if I had not f 6 the last game when I did, uh, I would not have been up against this Loki. So that's actually really good. We would not have had the pleasure of beating this fine lad. Where is he? Oh, you went, you gave me the old sneak around, huh? That's a Loki 101 trick. My alt flop three would kill him, but I'm scared he would just alt out again. Okay, that shouldn't kill my minions. 
Yeah, so he's still gonna lose the gold for these. Is he gonna ult me? Yep. Good stuff. Didn't even have to use my shell. Although I might have to use it if I want this red buff. I don't want to use my shell. I'm stubborn. Nah, we'll be fine. I have my potions. Okay, double shell start. Pretty good against Loki. Alright. Now, do we want to go Bancrofts? Or do we want to go other power items? You know, Bancrofts give such a good power spike. Let's do it. Plus, that might force him to get anti-heal. And I don't even have, like, Bracer, you know? This game is going so well. Look at that. I do so much damage. You need to run, Loki. That's what you need to do right now. Yeah, there you go. There you go. I'll tell this guy what to do so that he can actually fight me. Okay. Isn't it nice to not be... <laughs> I wasn't even trying to kill you. I was trying to get the buff. Okay. All right. Um, I have no idea how this guy has a diamond border Loki. I, I really, really don't know. I did. He, how many? What's this Loki mastery? I'm gonna have to look back at this video. I don't believe it. His little brother took the controller. I don't know. I genuinely don't believe that this is you playing right now. I don't even see you lagging or anything, so you don't have a you don't even have that excuse. You can help me, bruh. Now this is the Bacchus gameplay I wanted to show. Not 0 and 9 against AMC and uh, against Tirza. Against an assassin is where Bacchus shines, especially Loki. I think every single Guardian does well against Loki. They just have to ward up for once he starts uh, AFK clearing the wave. I am going to get my Polynomicon next item and not my Breastplate because he's so far behind that I would rather start pushing objectives than try and mitigate his damage. Now, do I want to go Thorns or do I want to go Aegis? Hello? Dude, my, my autos do more than your ultimate. My autos actually do more than your ultimate. Get over here. You thought that was a good idea? Think again. Get over yonder. Five seconds, Loki. You better get out in five seconds. I'm coming for you, laddie. Deep bracer. Oh my god, I applied my anti-heal ability that did 50 damage and he bracered it. He bracered it with the anti-heal applied while trying to heal 50 HP. Loki is an exotic specimen, man. Loki players are something else. I usually I don't like getting BM against my opponents, right? But I make the exception for Lokis uh, sometimes. Let's get Blink. Because I applied anti-heal to him. Did about 50 damage, and he tried to bracer it for the hot 25. That's not, not even 25 HP. But he probably got 10 HP from that. 10 HP bracer. I've done the 10 HP bracer, but that was when my opponent had over 100% anti-heal. And I had Rod of the Selfies. So I've been there, but it was a different situation. I wonder how fast I can one-shot him. No, you weren't supposed to do that. Do you have defense? No. I should have got myself lower to get my Bancroft's passive. Oh, well. We push this mini wave into tower, plus we get red buff. So I consider that worth. This is the Bacchus I know and love. So I fight two Grandmasters in, in a row. Or I, I don't know if Tears is actually Grandmaster. He might be Masters. Two really good players in a row two that i have almost never beaten as bacchus I, I fight them and then i fight this loki that is dual matchmaking for you in a nutshell honestly okay
Oh, I just thought of something. If I do a two in one episode, how do I do the thumbnail as not to spoil, as not to spoil that I lose the first game? Hmm. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I'll figure it out. I had the thumbnail situation figured out. <laughs> now I don't, because if I do two in one episode, it's two different gods. Okay, now he's AFK clearing. We're gonna have to start buying wards. So I'm gonna have to say goodbye to my mana chalice. Buddy. Well, that was not the play. Or maybe it was a play. I really hope he stays. Thank you. I take zero damage from this tower because my passive warrior's blessing and breastplate. Holy moly. I could go, if I really wanted to screw Loki over, I would go Warlocks right now. Warlocks Nemean. With the Warlocks Nemean and then my I'd replace my boots for Polly. He would not be able to kill me no matter what. Also, his ult is down, but we shouldn't stay. Overconfidence is the fastest way to lose. Or actually, you know what? When I said that quote, people kept quoting a different quote, and I don't know where it's from. I think it's from like Darkest Dungeon, because I had to look it up. But I don't even remember the quote. But like almost every single comment said it. It was like overconfidence is a slow and something killer. I'd never heard that quote, so I feel like I gotta play Darkest Dungeon. If that's where it's from. I just did a quick Google search. I wasn't entirely sure. But it made me feel like an idiot. Because I came up with overconfidence is the fastest way to lose. And I had no idea the other quote was a thing. <laughs> so it made me feel a little stupid. Also, Spirit Magus, good on Bacchus because it, the burp. You always want to use the burp into the leap. And there's multiple reasons for that. For those that don't know, in Smite, there's a mechanic called diminishing returns. And that means if you apply a stun to somebody, then and then you apply another stun to them, the second stun isn't as long. And if you want to read the details on that, you should look up a thing called the Word of Thoth. It's a mechanics guide written by Flareboot. I might link it in the description if I remember, or someone can remind me to if I don't. Anyways, diminishing returns. If you apply a stun and you apply another stun, it's not as long, okay, the second one. And it resets out of combat. So if I apply my, and it doesn't, the thing is, knockups are the exception. Knockups will always be the same length no matter what. But knockups will apply diminishing returns, which is weird. So if I belly flop first, and then I use my, my belch, the belch stun will be shorter because my two apply diminishing returns. However, if I use my three first to stun him, and then I belly flop him, the belly flop will be the same duration of CC because it's a knockup. Now, the same thing with my ult. The ultimate is affected by DR. So, theoretically, ultimate 3-2 is the best combo for longest CC because intoxicate will be longer. But if you don't care about intoxicate, then you want to, you know, 3-2 ult. But you have to remember that the ultimate gives a power buff. So, it, it just depends. On Bacchus, I always save my ult until they're low because, you know, once, once people are kind of low, they want to run away. And you just keep them from doing that with the ult. If you initiate with the ult, they're going to be like, this guy's trying to kill me right now. And they're going to run away from the very start of the fight. And that's why I don't like initiating with my ult. I need so much else like right now because this guy's is, this guy is PvEing hard. Let's talk about mechanics. I'm getting distracted that he's actually catching up in level. He's four levels behind, but he's catching up. That's nifty, man. That's nifty, man. Maybe this guy just AFK clears until the, his enemy quits the game. Maybe he has like hour matches every single game. And this is what is fun for him. Is this fun for you, Loki? It's fun for me. You just ulted out. You are a genius. Let me tell you something else. I know you trying to give me the sneak around. You already did that trick. You already did that trick. That's the same trick twice. Your middle tower is under attack. Cool. Alright, I'm just going to go for Bull Demon because he's dead for 30 seconds. There's no way I can take... Uh, there's no way I can take Phoenix with the few minions I have and no Polynomicon. But I can take this. Use my ultimate for the power buff. And then use my belly flop. 
Like, he knows we're taking this. And this takes me 40 seconds to take, but at least the Phoenix will be down, and I'll be able to take it with Polynomica when I'm back. He will get my tower. I'm okay with that. All right, let's sell this. Ooh, I could get Power Potion, too, if I wait. But then I'm going to miss out on precious time. I think it's worth, because then my poly shot will hit harder. It's just a couple seconds. Okay, we need to book it. We need to book it right now. If I am to take that Phoenix, because you know he's going to clear the wave. And I'm not going to have minions to take Phoenix. But with poly, it shouldn't matter too much. I shouldn't have used my three. Because uh, if he, I see him, I need to catch him out. Ooh, do I get go for red buff? No, I don't. I don't think I should. We can try and push these minions, but he's just going to clear them. Oh, there he is. Maybe we could just kill him, honestly. Like, he has his ult, but I have blink. I think he's just staying in this area. Oh, he's going that way. Okay. Uh, indecisiveness is really bad in duel. I should have stuck to one plan. Either chased him or went for Phoenix right away, because now I'm not going to be able to take it. I will get it down to, like, half, though. As long as we keep applying the poly shots, that's what matters. I might be able to kill him here, actually. He had that again? Or not? Well, he didn't use it earlier. Come on, I just need one minion to enter Phoenix. I just need one Phoenix. And I have one minion. Okay, hey, he just used invisibility? Oh, I might be able to blink and kill him. I didn't get to get my poly shot off. Oh, he went behind me. Dang. Tough. Wasn't able to read him. I have one minute. If this minute gets into rage. Yes. Okay. We just need to stay in this range. We can take this because the minion. The one minion went to range and removed back to our protections. Thank you, minion with one HP. I don't know where he is, so I'm just going to jump. What if he backs and I just kill him as he backs? No, that's not going to happen. <laughs> that's not going to happen. Let's get out. Oh, he stayed. Goodbye. I heard you from a mile away, Loki. That makes up for the other two Bacchus games. What do you think? Even though this Loki was doing the microwave challenger, I don't even know what he was doing. Had to be doing something. Uh, maybe he was playing with a bop it for all I know. But... We had some really good moments there, especially that last one jumping over his ultimate because I heard him go invisible and knew he was going to ult right at that moment. That's pretty good. Okay, I'm happy we redid Bacchus. I'm happy we didn't count it as win. I'm happy we didn't count it as a loss because we got this game, and now I think everybody's happy. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I love the Guardian Gauntlet, you guys. It, it, it brings back my fun moments in Smite. I love the Guardian Gauntlet. Okay, I, I, I got to upload this. Thank you guys so much.